I'm Rob O'Brien, and I'm the principal percussionist of your Omaha Symphony. Today, I just thought I'd share with you a few ideas that I have and I use in my practice while using a metronome. I really like these ideas. They help me uh, continually be sure that I'm internalizing rhythm and, and pulse and tempo and stuff like that. And then I'm able to use another method to kind of check myself and make sure that I'm really doing a good job. Uh, so the first thing I like to do is a method called displacing the click. So instead of having the click of the metronome happen on every beat, it's you, you put it in the middle uh, some, somewhere. So we'll, we'll just do the eighth note. So it's right in the middle of where the beat should actually happen. So we'll use an example that everybody knows because everybody can use these methods. Obviously, I'm a percussionist and I'm sitting on a piano right now. So we're just going to use Twinkle Twinkle Little Star playing at 120 beats a minute and Normally, it happens with the click on every beat like this. Right? Sounds familiar to everybody, but if we displace the click and put it in between, so right on the eighth notes, it sounds something like this. challenging I think so if that's difficult for you at first uh, the first thing I recommend is slowing the click down pretty much anything becomes easy once it gets slow enough and really be sure that you are subdividing while you're doing it so you might have to count eighth notes out loud to make sure everything's kind of lining up uh, but if you do that enough times you you end up internalizing it and then you don't even have to think about it uh, once, once you once you get really good at it and you're really diligent about this practicing The other method I like to do uh, is called reducing the click. So this is really helpful for checking yourself to make, make sure that you're doing a really good job of internalizing pulse and tempo like that. So reducing the click. So instead of having it happen on every click, let's have the click happen every other beat. Okay, so this would be 60 beats a minute. So now it's on every half note. Let's see how we do. You can go even further with this and check yourself. So let's do 30 beats a minute. So now it's only gonna happen once a measure. So once, as it gets slower and slower, there's fewer options to check yourself and make sure that you're really st you're really steady with your with your tempo. So if we if we're subdividing really well and really diligently and really accurately, this should line up pretty well. Let's see. You can go even further than that, 15 beats a minute or seven and a half beats a minute. Uh, there's, there's tons of different ways uh, to keep using this, kind of keep what you're practicing, get really fresh and really aid in, in your development, uh, your rhythmic integrity and development as a musician. So thanks for joining me. I uh, hope everyone's staying safe out there and we hope to see you guys soon. Thanks.